Hello, everybody. My name is Naaman Hinton. At the age of 23, after being perfectly healthy, one day I woke with double vision. I didn't say anything for about three days, thinking that as quickly as it came, it would go away, but it didn't. I ended up at UW when the doctor said to me, you have a ping pong sized tumor on your brain accompanied by multiple sclerosis. 10 days later, the tumor was removed. Next on my agenda was to try and do my best to stay positive, to live, to live strong with a positive attitude. Worldwide, roughly 2.5 million people battle this disease. In, in the United States, they estimate 200 new cases are diagnosed each week. MS loves to lead us to believe that we are weak. Please, never adopt that mentality. Technically, I don't work a nine to five, but this is certain. Battling this disease, we are definitely working overtime every single day of our lives, and it's so exhausting. Despite that, please do your best to always fight back, never stopping. Unpredictability describes this disease to a T taking our energy like a thief, continually. For goodness sakes, it feels like 808 pound weights wrapped around each leg every day. And dealing with such an incredibly frustrating disease can easily equal days full of anxiety. Grief and sadness are all understandable natural reactions that can happen when we feel the impact as our bodies begin crashing. I am sure you would agree with me when I say, never is it fun losing the ability to do a variety of things you used to achieve with these. Hey MS, nothing personal. Oh wait, that's exactly what this is. You have the nerve to literally get on our nerves trying to negatively affect the way that we live? I am borderline speechless contemplating the way this mean disease treats us. I'm so fed up and flabbergasted, I can't hardly stand it. How this MS tends to slow a lot of us down, like rush hour traffic. The feeling is ever so drastic. I'm sure many of you would agree with me when I say, it does not matter how many hours I sleep, I wake up worn out, extremely exhausted, both mentally and physically, as MS attempts to hold our bodies hostage. However, it is vital that we never give up. Despite the reality of what this disease is doing to us, and similar to that thick pea soup like substance in London, the fog on my brain is tremendously abundant. It wasn't until facing this disease, I discovered a strength hidden very deeply inside of me. Any and every feeling that you feel battling this disease is 100% valid and real. Yes. MS can definitely be difficult for us to grasp mentally and understand. I can only imagine how challenging it could be for those with no MS to come remotely close to comprehend. Man, some water. Big good. Oh, no, we're not done. Water break. Get him, Damon. Yeah. Woo! Nobody chose to ride this emotional roller coaster. The best we can do is hold on tight and never give up until this horrible ride is over despite continually feeling weighed down to the ground like multiple boulders on his shoulders. This MS is the MF. Yes, it's most frustrating. <laughs> Behind my smile is over a decade of frustration. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying I try my best at simply maintaining despite the little energy that I have constantly draining no matter what never underestimate the amount of inner strength that you have it's a lot please know that for a fact again my dear friends never underestimate the amount of inner strength that you have it's a lot please know that for a fact whether you have been battling for decades or just diagnosed yesterday like snowflakes and fingerprints each and every case is very different far from simple isn't it I feel for real, if we never give up and quit, we will be winning it. Yes, we can win. The enormous stress that MS brings is a monstrous mountain of a slope with the abundance of daily anxieties making it extremely difficult to cope. Our struggles can easily feel as if our wheels are falling off on the bumpiest of roads or we're going down quick, similar to that of a sinking boat 
as we frantically do our best to simply stay afloat even though we are so very tired and feel close to the end of our rope? Please always believe you can and will succeed and never ever give up hope. Thank you so much, much love you guys, thank you. Let's hear it for Naaman, everybody. This is exactly why we ride, and this is why you are all here tonight. So thank you all for being here, and I cannot wait to see you at the start line tomorrow morning to kick off Bike MS. Woo! Good job, Naaman. Heck yeah. Lots of sheep. All righty. Thank you.